New tonight, a 12 News exclusive. We're hearing from former Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt after the Woonsocket City Council voted early this morning to oust her from her position. This all stems from a complaint filed by Councillor Denise Sierra earlier this month. She claimed Baldelli Hunt was not performing her mayoral duties. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke with Baldelli Hunt this afternoon as well as the person taking over for her. Brittany joins us live now with what's next for the city's leadership. Brittany. Okay, well, Kayla Shannon, at 1.30 this morning, city councilors voted 3-2 to two in favor of ousting Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt. City Council President Dan Gendron was immediately sworn in. Today we spoke to him in his new office where he says he's ready to step in. I'm doing fine. After removing her belongings from office and a short night's sleep, former Woonsocket Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt wraps her head around being ousted by city council. This is un-American. It's unprecedented and it is uh, unacceptable. I will continue to fight for the residents of this city because their voice was taken away and four people should not be able to take the voice away. The nine counts were brought on following a complaint filed by Councillor Denise Sierra. They claim Baldelli Hunt did not listen to the city solicitor. She paid stipends that were not approved by the council, but the main issue debated in last night's meeting was the mayor's decision to veto the police union's bargaining agreement the council approved. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, to be honest with you, because in my estimation, that jeopardizes the safety of our residents. Baldelli Hunt says the agreement was illegal because it used federal funds, but Sierra tells me their lawyers don't agree. Your opinion supersedes our city charter and a law degree. I, I don't know how you get to that point. After the three to two vote in favor of removal, City Council President Daniel Gendron was sworn in as mayor. The 13 year councilor tells me he did not take the pay raise. This afternoon, he tells me he never wanted to be mayor, but is ready to help the city move forward. Police officers paid with the raises that they, they deserve and that they negotiated and that, that they are entitled to. If I did nothing else, I would feel like my time here was worthwhile. And Baldelli Hunt is running unopposed in November. Therefore, she will likely regain her seat as mayor for the swearing in that is set for December 6th, exactly two months from now. Gendron tells us he is running for council, not for mayor. Live in Woonsocket, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Well, when Socket residents woke up this morning to a new mayor, the city council voted last night to remove Lisa Baldelli Hunt from office. Today, council president Daniel Gendron was sworn in as mayor. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke exclusively with Baldelli Hunt and also talked to Gendron today about his new role. She joins us live in Woonsocket with how they're dealing with the new change. Brittany. Well, Shannon, Lisa Baldelli Hunt tells me she's received a huge outpouring of support from the community and says she's now focusing on the November election where she remains unopposed. Meanwhile, City Council President and now Mayor Daniel Gendron says it's going to be a short eight week stint as he's running for re-election in the council, not mayor. An overnight three to two council vote forces Woonsocket Mayor Lisa Baldelli Hunt out and Council President Daniel Gendron in. Yes, I was immediately sworn in. Today marks the 13 year councilman's first day as mayor, a day he calls bittersweet. I wish this didn't have to happen, but the facts of where we are got us here and um, I'm, I'm happy to be here because I'm going to do the best I can. His first line of business, the main issue debated about in last night's hearing with Baldelli Hunt over her decision to veto the police union's bargaining agreement the council approved. Gendron says the process has been started and it won't be difficult to accomplish. Police officers paid with the raises that they they deserve and that they negotiated and that, that they are entitled to. If I did nothing else, I would feel like my time here was worthwhile. Baldelli Hunt says the agreement was illegal because it used federal funds. Today, we spoke exclusively with the former mayor who tells us she's moved everything out of the office she's held for nearly a decade. My message is that this is un-American, it's unprecedented, and it is uh, unacceptable. But I don't only feel that the residents of the city do as well, and I will continue to fight for the residents of this city because their voice was taken away. Baldelli Hunt is running unopposed and will likely regain her seat in December. In the meantime, I will be using this time uh, to be working with other candidates so we can bring respect 
and we can bring accountability and we can bring democracy back to our city. And Gendron did abstain from the vote overnight last night. He also tells me that he is not taking the pay increase that comes with being mayor. Live in Woonsocket, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.